Okay, Jazzy here with a quick video. Sorry about the dogs barking in the back. I'm in the shop today. But uh, we're here with beautiful little Abby. She is a senior border collie mix. Anyhow, so, so what I wanted to show you guys today is I hear so often, oh, I don't, it's winter time. I don't need to get my dog groomed. Uh, He'll be okay. I want him to stay warmer. Let's not shave him. La la la. I hear a lot of um, reasons why people neglect to groom during the winter time. And I just wanted to let people know there is a legitimate scientific reason here why we do still promote grooming during the winter season. It's not uh, some gimmick here. It's not us trying to uh, win you over or take your money. It literally is us caring for the dog, so um, I'm going to try and see if I can put my flash on so you guys can see this better, but um, so this is uh, down to her skin. This is a nice, well-groomed out uh, coat here. Nice and uh, she does have a little dander, but, but she has a nice groomed coat right here. Uh, she still has multiple layers. Of, she has been de-shed here. But she still has multiple layers of um, undercoat. She has her guard hairs. She's not shaved. This is just a nice, good D mat. Uh, not D mat, D shed. So, this is a good, healthy coat. Now, if we move down, uh, down here to her rump where I'm still working on, this she has been drying for forever. And this is not. As you can see, I can't part, uh, and partly because I have not taking the comb through this area so it's not all cleaned up and pretty little parting line but as you can tell as I drag my comb through here um, it is this is super clumpy has tons of unhealthy dead hair stuck in it as well as short and long guard hairs as well as undercoat hairs that are still growing in this is um, so the reason why we do this during winter time is that this takes forever to dry. When these this blown coat, which this dead blown coat that's all clumpy and coming out here, when it gets trapped in here, because it does, but then it also it gets wet from snow, from rain, from romping around, from a water dish, whatever it is, this takes forever to dry. And sometimes if a dog goes in and out a lot and spends a significant chunk of time out doors um, the dog this part stays wet and then at freezing temperatures it freezes and you can actually get burns all on the skin you can get uh, you still get the typical you know matting scars and you can get sores it is very real it's not something we're making up just to get your money um, this is actual problem and so to demat is way more painful. It is way, way, way uh, kinder on the dog, much more gentle approach to just go ahead and take care of that preventatively and to just take care of the coat and keep it in a good condition. And so we we want to see nice, healthy, eh, I don't mind dander a little bit. Everybody got dander, huh? Oh, girlfriend. But this, good, clean, this is not pulling out chunks. It's just good, healthy coat. There's nothing coming out when or very minimal that should be coming out with this nice thoroughly de-shed still has all the appropriate layers so it can do all of the appropriate heating and cooling like a coat is designed to I'm not promoting shaving or anything like that just good healthy de-shed even in the middle of winter we don't need a compacted undercoat okay jazzy out <laughs>